Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, State Farm, AutoTempest.com, and WeatherTech. When Ford's latest Mustang arrived in 1994, it was hailed for its stylish new looks and refined character. But some fans were bitterly disappointed at the horsepower deficit relative to its main competitors, the Chevy Camaro and Pontiac Firebird. While these fans quickly made their feelings known, and Ford has listened, the result is a 96 Mustang with serious horsepower that's ready to strike. And that name is Cobra. But unlike previous versions of the latest Mustang to wear that hallowed name, the Ford Special Vehicle Team's limited edition 1996 Cobra finally packs real firepower. Flip open the hood and you'll find a whole new arsenal. Ford's all aluminum 4.6 liter 32 valve double overhead cam modular V8 finally replaces the venerable pushrod 5 liter that propelled a generation of pony cars. It puts the Mustang Cobra neck and neck with its top General Motors competitors by pumping out no less than 305 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. And with a smooth 0 to 60 time of 5.5 seconds, as well as a quarter mile run of 14 seconds at 102 miles per hour, puts Ford owners back on the front row of the Stoplight Grand Prix. Channeling all that power to the rear wheels is a notchy but solid Borg Warner T45 five-speed manual transmission. Don't even ask for an automatic. Like anyone with all this deep, low-down torque to play with ever would. And the playtime doesn't end when the road gets twisty. The 4.6 V8 required a new front suspension carrier that prompted SVT to even further rework the Cobra's suspension geometry. While you can still steer by throttle, this Fox chassis is far less tail happy now and actually a pleasure to drive in the wet. Unique variable rate springs and a new power steering system help give the 96 Cobra a more solid European feel and make it the sweetest handling pony car yet. A set of sticky 45 series BF Goodrich tires mounted on 17 inch alloy wheels aid in this newfound precision. Braking is all massive anti-lock equipped discs that stop the Cobra from 60 in an average of 119 feet. Under hood is a new hydraulically boosted brake master cylinder. Still, we would like a firmer pedal feel and less nose dive, but we can't fault the brake's high speed performance. Swing many performance cars off the track, however, and their drivability quickly nose dives. But that's happily not the case with the latest Cobra. The ride is firm, but never jarring. It soaks up big bumps and potholes, yet retains its composure at all times a claim that the last generation V8 Mustang couldn't make. And the 4.6 liter V8 is also more flexible than the old pushrod unit, with a smoother clutch and more refined, longer-legged power delivery. We can, however, fault the fact that for all its superb ability, the Cobra looks little different from its much more common GT sibling. Granted, there are nice round fog lights in the front fascia, twin air intakes on the hood, and plenty of badges, as well as those spiffy wheels. But our favorite styling feature, the return to vertical taillight lenses, is shared by all 96 Mustangs. The Cobra's inside is also pretty much straight Mustang, but that's nothing to complain about since it's the best cockpit in the American pony car class. The wraparound dash with its dual airbags, large clear gauges, and handy easy to use controls is top notch, while the thick supportive bucket seats fit everyone on our staff. Rear seat room remains coupe tight, normal for the pony car class. Though the 10.9 cubic foot trunk is about 20% smaller than a Camaro or Firebirds. The price, however, is right in line with the Cobra's GM rivals. The base Cobra runs $24,810. Add in its only option package, which includes leather and a premium sound system, plus destination and delivery charges, and the final total is $26,645. In the world of high performance, that's quite a bargain. And even though only about 700 SVT approved Ford dealers will be able to sell Cobras, it's still clearly a good idea. The folks at Auto Week obviously agreed. They wrote that, with the Cobra, there will now be Mustangs on a par with the best GM has to offer at a comparable price, and that's a step in the right direction. Automobile Magazine was even more enthusiastic, saying, 
This is the Mustang we've been waiting for, and the one Chevrolet Camaro Z28 drivers will love to hate. So if you thought that the new Mustang's lackluster early showing meant that the pony car wars were over, think again. The 96 Mustang Cobra is proof that Ford has not abandoned its loyal pony car fans and a warning to Camaro and Firebird owners that the next time they hit the streets, it better be with a snake bite kit in the glove box.